Welcome back to River City Live. We are just so full of superhero guests today we don't know what to do so please welcome Pat Hennigan of Jacksonville Fitness Academy here to talk about something that that coach Pat I have to tell you I was moved to ask you to come on and talk about this when we were in a situation I'm a uh, paying paying client of Jacksonville Fitness Academy total disclosure and uh, another lady was having trouble with a particular movement and she said I just don't want to do this movement anymore it doesn't feel right I don't want to do it and you said no the key is to modify the movement because if you if you don't like it, that's why you should be doing it. Yeah, and that's a, a very common mistake that a lot of people make when they first start going to the gym or first start working out at home. They assume and they think that they need to perform, perform every movement and they need to perform it absolutely perfectly. And if they can't, that there's no point in even doing the movement in the first place. And it's really, it's like a self-defeating cycle because you try something very advanced. Maybe you go to the gym, you see somebody picking up a very heavy weight, squatting a very heavy weight, or banging out a set of lunges very quickly and you think, I can never do that, there's no point, so you don't even begin to try. And that really sells your physique, your mindset, and your overall results in health and fitness short if you don't make that attempt to regress or use a movement to accommodate your current situation to get where you wanna go and build that strength, skill, stability, and capacity to move better. So what would be an example of that? I can't remember which the movement was that on that particular day, but let's say for an example, a squat. Somebody, yes. I've heard a million times, you've got to squat low, you've got to, you know, knees over toes, but other than that, as low as you can. Well, the squat is obviously a very important movement, but just like anything else, it's all dependent on context, and it all depends on the individual performing the squat. And squatting is a problem that a lot of adults who have been out of the gym or been not working out for a while have a problem with because it requires a good deal of strength, a good deal of balance, and a good deal of everything working together. So there are two great ways that you can modify the squat. The first is just to squat simply onto like a box, a chair, your couch at home, where it almost mimics just you sitting down and standing up. The only difference is that we're not actually sitting down and putting all of our weight on that box, on that platform. We're using it just to kind of like gently kiss and then come back up. It gives us that tactile feedback of the bottom of the motion. So that kind of takes balance out of the equation. That also requires a little bit less strength than like a full-fledged squat would, which allows us to build up the capacity, the skill, the strength to the, to the point where we can perform a perfect squat. So is what you're saying then that it's okay to go ahead and proceed with these even if you're not doing a, a full range of motion, even if it almost seems imperceptible the amount of movement you're making? 100% because that's really, in order to get stronger, in order to get, fil to get fitter, it's just a journey of a thousand steps and that's you just taking one step. So the, the goal shouldn't be to perform something perfectly right away. The goal should be to take that one step towards not necessarily perfection because perfection doesn't exist, but towards full capacity every time you work out or every day. So who is this message for? It's obviously not only for people who are hitting the gym and trying to you know, get that summer body. Isn't this also something for people who are maybe um, you know, getting a lot older or getting, you know, maybe should be sharing with a parent or a grandparent that this kind of movement can prevent injuries and create a better life? Oh, of course, and especially at, uh, with females as they age, uh, osteoporosis is a a real pain in the butt to deal with, but one of the clinically proven ways to strengthen your bones is to use those muscles to fight against resistance. That, that uh, imperceptible vibration of the muscles when they fire will actually force the bone to not necessarily work harder, but resist against something, which has been proven time and time again to be a way to strengthen your bones as you age. So working out, resistance training, isn't something just for young people. It's for everybody, because it is really the way that we can optimize our body and optimize our time on this earth. Okay, well, I, I think that message is an important one. Just even the tiniest bit of movement can be beneficial, and that is Coach Pat Hennigan from Jacksonville Fitness Academy, and you can le learn more when you visit jacksfitacademy.com. Thanks, and we're gonna be right back with more River City Live. Don't go away.